पारसी की गाड़ी है यू विल गेट मोर मनी फॉर इट टाटा का है तो अच्छा ही है फी साइंस दैट आई एम द लकीस्ट मैन इन द वर्ल्ड आई डेंट डू एनी थिंग टू डिजर्व दैट आई डोंट कंसिडर माई सेल्फ इज बिल्डिंग जीनियस यू थिंक आई एम नॉट आई एम अपलॉडिंग स्टूडेंट Is it a reimagining of some conversation that you wanted to have with your father also? Maybe, it's possible. But I think the fear of failure has to be rubbished. So I think the writer is the most important person because he sets the sets the template and every single detail. My wife, and sometimes she acts as a conscience. All right. Uh, so there's uh, Baman Irani. He's given the clap sound roll sound action, yeah. right? Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. It's just talking. Just Kiran Kapoor. With me in the house is the illustrious iconic Baman Irani. Yeah, absolutely. And I think by now he's quite bored of listening to Doctor Sthana and Viru Sastu Budhi. Any other character that you really like, apart from these two that have Kurana. really been Kurana? I also love. Just to get this, and Bachche Saap hote hain. Saap, Saap, kahi ke, Saap, Saap, kahi ke. and the character from Wilton of Bay like very much yes yeah and then ferrari and many i like the guy in 99 also 99 was such a beautiful yeah, film yeah and i like i think most underrated like the film. guy in jolly llb also yes you don't yeah. remember shireen farhad ki nikal padi i do i think of it very fondly i really do so that that brings me to a question that been you know uh, i had it since morning the parsi community you know their right. contribution to this country has been immense and as a proud parsi um, and you know at the top of your game in the industry uh, like how does it I, it's very cliche that sound but how does it feel what what is the element that you bring from your parsi culture uh legacy uh, the thing is i am very grateful to my forefathers for the legacy that they've handed out to us and people speak about the parsi community with so much love and affection and respect now we either we do something that is really good or keep that respect going at least to say, at least on a basic level because we have benefited from the legacy of our forefathers it's a name parsi ki gaadi hai you will get more money for it you know it's it's a parsi maintained car if it's a if it's a it's about trust it's about uh, quality but you do when you say hey, tata ka hai to acha hi hai people who live in jam jamshedpur yeah. people have been treated by parsi doctors parsi lawyers so our job is to make sure that that legacy is at least maintained if not elevated all of us are not in a position to elevate uh, you know mm. but i went i when i was a photographer i had got i needed a studio space and that time i think uh, the the ussr had broken down and it, it had become russia and all the other little small countries and they had a property in bombay that uh, they were letting out to people to use because of the real estate mm. so i went and applied for a studio space there because uh, you'll have to take photographs for our for our staff baki you can do what you want and i went and i did this uh, they called me and i got selected to get that place at a very reasonable price at bridge candy no less okay bridge candy yeah prime property prime property beautiful beautiful mm. means beautiful phone fridge air conditioner all all you got to pay very very simple amount of money and you're in and i said to myself this is too good to be true no i was like nahi ye to koi problem hai isme I went to meet that man, the consul general, and he was sitting there, and I'm standing, and I sat in front of him, and he unplugged his pen. I said, "If he signs that, I'm the luckiest man in the world." And he put his pen on paper, and he put it back in again. I said, "I knew it." Too good to be true. Too good to be true. And he looked up at me and said, "I want to confirm. You are Parsi Zorastra Nirani, right?" I said yes. Then I signed. Can you imagine? If a Russian knows value of the and the word of an of an of a Parsi Zoroastrian, it's a it's a legacy that we are benefiting from. I didn't do anything to deserve that. Our forefathers have, have created that legacy. Let's not mess with it. Let's hand over. Does that feeling? No, charity. Parsi, the name is charity. This. 
so jab aap you with spiral bound which is your screen writing course that you have right. done and you share your knowledge you know uh, which in the previous interviews everyone was stunned with your screen writing thing ki itni knowledge de di people are conjuice with sharing contacts and knowledge does that come from your parsi lineage ki let's no, share no. let's uh, educate people let's uh, go out and just uh, talk about things that they need to know what good is that knowledge if it's going to be uh, destroyed after me you got to push push the agenda forward for if you really love cinema if you really love cinema you would not keep it to you for yourself what do you love about cinema yeah i think my childhood was made sweeter with cinema what are the earliest films that you remember yeah i mean you name it if i told you i saw psycho at a very young age me too psycho but the Gone with the wind. New actor ones. No, no, no. no. Gone Good. with the wind. Yes. Gone with the wind. Funny girl. Lawrence of Arabia. In the heat of the night. What oh, movies, man? Today there were so many movies that I showed at the workshop, which was for my childhood. That's why I recall them. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. And they made my my childhood music, MGM musicals. Amazing. An American in Paris. Uh, funny girl oliver my fair lady sound of music such great films that you know you you, you admire the spectacle and children's films too amar akbar anthony surely i mean come on it really made me feel that's where i want to be but did you do that when you were growing up you know because in all interviews i've read um there's this uh, i'm trying to find out this link ke this boy who grows up in tough times with his sister and his mother who's worked very hard sisters sisters and you know this you're a wafer wala you're right. running a shop right and someone in an interview also mentioned that he's such a brilliant genius did he know that he was such a brilliant uh-huh. genius while he was growing up and that you're going to be the baman irani i didn't i don't know it even today and a photographer and i don't look at myself as the baman irani even today between you and you that <laughs> humility of course comes from the back it's not humility it's just the moment you say i am this First of all, I'm not factually, and secondly, even if I am, if I'm accepting that epithet, then I'm going to lose whatever genius I have the moment I accept that I'm a brilliant genius, which I'm not. I think we we t- today today I, I I was teaching, and and when I came out, I said there's a workshop of another writer who's doing some work over here, uh, doing a workshop. I would have loved to have seen that. I don't consider myself as a brilliant genius who think that I am not. I am a plodding student. I plod and I chip away little by little. That's why it's taken me so much time to do, uh, become an actor, or for that matter, become a photographer, uh, theater actor, cinema actor, writer. It took me ten years to understand because people over there, I just gave them an overview. It takes time. I take time. if i was a you know so so i and i believe you never stop learning that 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 you may have heard before i mean how many years have you been do, doing doing uh, journalism journalism uh, since 2002 and uh, yeah. now it's journalism and content writing and running a channel and how running a household so you can say more than 20 years yeah so you, you think you mastered the no, no we are so, so we are on the same board but so does being a student help all throughout because you are running a shop is the only thing that helps that only thing that helps yeah you continue with the photography also no i'll tell you a little uh, example i spoke to nasiruddin shah and i just said you know maybe i wish i had been to nsd or you know fti he saying you know you are fine don't worry about it so i mm-hmm. said yeah what makes you think your your university was the wafer shop <laughs> i said what makes you say that saying all that you do and you bring to your characters are characters you meant at the wafer shop and i said and he's right he's right because i used to sit there and i used to read under the table i used to read books mm. on acting and direction and um, billy wilder. i mean as a teenager i used to sit at the shop even as a teenager um, on, on billy wilder and george cukor and and kubrick and all of that uh, and and on acting and i used to whatever i used to read there and i used to see customers walking in and their behavior their body language the way they spoke the way they requested their order whether they whether they barked out the order whether they they whispered into a guy's ear and the way they presented money 
you know what that man is about just by his body language. Like for example, when the certain a person takes out his wallet, you know exactly the way he brandishes his wallet, what kind of human being that person is. Mm. You don't need to write pages and pages. If he opens it with humility or he's showing you the wallet that it's got a lot of money in it, you even know how well the wallet is organized or disorganized. You know character from that. And you say, okay, okay takes out money and he keeps on doing this. You, he, he's suspicious that he's going to give you more than one ch chitkawa note. Hmm. You know, you understand people's personality from the way they even remove their wallet. Those are less lessons I learned as a young man. So, which one his character has translated into your... Uh, Subconsciously, almost all. Huh. Subconsciously, almost all. Definitely. And now that you're into direction, the Mehta boys, your photography days probably might have come sure, majorly handy. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you discuss a shot, you discuss a lens, you discuss an angle, you discuss the height of the shot, whether it's a low angle or from from eye view or from the from a little it's all got to do with understanding framing the texture of light. Light has an emotion. Yes. The quality of light will have an emotion. How harsh do you harsh, want it? How soft, soft do you want yes. it? From how much direction do you want it? How much shadow do you I think all these things help. I think all of them were basically preparing you for this moment, wasn't Absolutely. it? The wafer shop, Absolutely. the photography, the meeting of And that's the people. answer I'm going to use every time somebody said, Why did you do it so long? I said, I'm preparing for it. No, but th that's true. It's absolutely true. Haan, and uh, you know, the Mehta boys is, uh, you're talking about a father and son relationship and you right. never probably, you never got to meet your father. I never got to meet my father. So how do you create that? Is it your relationship with your sons that somewhere from it, there you've bought it? It's strange. I have a very good relationship with my son. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you look at any kind of relationship, whether it's a father and son or a daughter and mother, mother and a mother and a son, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. that or a boyfriend and a girlfriend or a husband and a wife. There are times that there is a conversation that suddenly gets derailed for no reason. Mm -hmm. And that's the exploration of that. Why do certain conversations go out of hand when nothing untoward was said? It comes from something that is more deep rooted. Whatever psychological explanation that you and I and I did a little bit of research on that too. Mm -hmm. It's called a family romance. It's a Freudian paper that is written about. It is the way it is between fathers and sons and. And uh, it takes a few years for do for it's called the family family romance. It's known as the family romance. Is it a reimagining of some conversation that you wanted to have with your father also? Maybe it's possible. But I, I don't want to think that way. And is something borrowed from your mother because she was a very important sure, part is. of your life? Yes, my mother. My mother was influence like influence also. Yeah, and there were times I used to have. Uh, I used to have. A, Sometimes a strange relationship with my mother and we get angry with her about something, she would be angry with me. Like any father or mother would. And maybe it is that, but it's not an angry film, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. It gets high, high octane drama, but it's not an angry film. So it took you eight years to write back and forth? Because I was learning alongside. Mm. Again, you're saying, why did you take so long? I no, take no, long. No, I'm not saying why. I said, uh, because any good story, like I, uh, I remember Shujit Sarkar uh, talking about uh, Madras Cafe. And he right. said that that took him uh, at least around 10, 11 drafts and you know, seven years to make. It took me in more than eight he years made, actually. I think he had done preparations for other films. He had taken out Vicky Donor in the right, meanwhile. Right, right. But Madras Cafe took a very long time. So there is a reason also. When yes. are you sure that that story is was right? It's ripe that now it's time to, you've given, uh, you talk about screenplay, the importance of screenplay, the importance of screenwriting. But when do you know that this story is to hai? And this story, now uh, tell me, it's time right, this script is complete. Hai. You know. Gut feeling. I mean, what else can it be? You say, okay, dot, okay. Uh, let me go through it again. And then you'll find that there are certain things that don't quite resonate for you. And, and you, it has to work for you. Uh, you can't say, I'll make it for this kind of audience or that kind of audience. It has to work for you. Is this movie, is, the, is this movie a kind of movie that you'd like to watch. That's the one you should make. And you should make it, make a film which you're afraid to tell also. Because if you're going to make it e easy for the protagonist, then... then you have to put the protagonist in a hot water situation. The situation that's what I... Were you there this afternoon when I said it? I know this line. That yeah. it has to, he has to, he or yeah. she has to be in a tough situation to understand what to move forward. And when it's just about, okay, then make it worse. 
Hmm. And then make it right. You know, uh, in the morning you said that, believe me, I will give you the interview and we will talk. But you so, didn't believe me. Uh, uh, perils of the job, you know, whatever this is, but the <laughs> don't let go. Anyway. You know, the belief. Where does that belief come from? That you so strongly believe in things. You're a motivational speaker. You are a teacher now, and uh, you are really reaching out to people. The belief has to come from somewhere. What may after so many struggles and challenges in life and ups and downs, What's how do you do hold on it? to your belief What's and that optimism? What's struggle got to do with it? When you struggle more, I think the belief system becomes stronger. Hmm. Uh, and, I, and I say, I gave my word, I gave my word, end of story. Mm -hmm. I gave my word, I gave my word. I don't know why is it difficult for you to believe it. But for me to believe it is very easy. Okay. Because I gave my word. So that you said applies to movies and stories also. Uh, the belief. Belief systems. That you believe and then the audience will believe. If you believe, the, I mean, yeah, it's not always the case. I might mm -hmm. believe the audience and say, what the hell was that? That's, but you should believe to begin with. Is there, you know, you've been back and forth to New York. You worked with the Oscar winner, uh, Alex Delaney, if I'm right, Birdman. Yeah, Alex Dinelaris. Dinelaris yeah. and uh, Birdman. He's helped you with this uh, Film also the He's got first billing as a writer. Yes, and um, what is the difference in sensibilities of uh, uh, American Hollywood script writing lookout and the Indian? Very yeah. little. Okay. It's about human beings, right? Hmm. Alex has a relationship with his father, probably. What's that got to do with the sensibility? Hmm. It's got to do with this. My father, what did you feel at that point of time when your father, when, when, when your father said something to you that that really changed your life, and maybe. He, certain things he speaks about his father. He's got his father's uh, baseball glove mm -hmm. still over there. And it resonated with him so strongly. Why? Because he's a mm -hmm. human being that feels. Mm -hmm. The sensibility, I might correct myself, uh, we tend to explain more to the audience mm -hmm. and not let the audience put the two and two together themselves. They take it for granted that the audience should figure it out for themselves. They That's should. the only difference. But do you think that there is a sales pitch to a film that the story should gra grip you in the first 10 minutes, otherwise the audience will get bored? There it's has not to be a sales a first pitch. It's not a sales pitch. Or there has to be something gripping in the first 10, 15 it's, minutes to hold doesn't have to be gripping. the interest of the audience. It has to be gripping in a, in a, in a thriller. Hmm. But it, it, it has to hook is the word rather than gripping. Because in a, in a film where we're talking about a, a film about relationships, you might turn and say, okay, I'm in for the ride. It doesn't have necessarily to be gripping. Mm -hmm. But it's not a sales pitch alone. Mm -hmm. You cannot lose the audience in the first 15 minutes by showing them the lay of the land. Mm -hmm. The moment you start showing them the lay of the land, oh, this is where I grew up and this man. Ah, how are you? I to chai peene ke liye. Oh, and it's so nice. The mahal is beautiful. You can smell the mitti and all of that. Mm -hmm. But you've got to get on with it. And that is not a sales pitch. That's just to hook them. It's in. just, and it does not have to be a big hook. You just have to find a character who wants something. And say, ah, I'd like to see if he achieves what he wants. That's it. That's a hook. You know, uh, 23 years back, had Vidhu Vinod Chopra not made that call, how would have things turned out? No idea. Do you ever sit and wonder? No. About no Munamba no. or... No. The running of things, no. no. Just happened the way it is. I would to. have ended up making a film some way or the other. You were that hooked to yeah. it. It had to happen. It has, you have to. That's the want. What kind of stories attract you? Stories of human, human infallibility. Stories of, of acts of kindness. Stories of uh, weaknesses that can be converted into strengths. Stories of... Uh, People achieving insurmountable goals. Uh, it should be inspiring in their own way. Stories of uh, value of relationships, what you have and you don't respect. Like I was mentioning about in the earlier interview about what 127 hours. It's not just a story about survival. It's a story about a boy who didn't care about his mother, who didn't leave a message and tell his mother that he's going into the de desert for this trek. He didn't answer it in, in the credit titles. That phone kept ringing, son, where are you, son, where are you? You're not answering. He didn't answer. He didn't value. And then finally he realized down in the pit, oh, I missed all the people that I took for granted. 
and he was talking to a blooming ant. So it humanizes us. It's not just a story of survival. It's about humanizing a, a guy who said, I, I, I didn't lose my hand. I found a nicer man. You know, nice tagline. Okay, you know, not so autobiographies and biographies. Uh, uh, Tricky. Do you want to make any? Tricky, always. Because you have Would you to like reading them? Sure, but they're tricky to make because if mm -hmm. there's a story that does not have a struggle, then we have a problem telling the story. So they are always very tricky, and then you can't you can't veer away from the from the facts too much. You can dramatize, but you can't change facts. Mm -hmm. So it's tricky always to do an autobiography. You know, you've done Punjabi characters and Iranian uh, Parsi characters. Right. Uh, do you find any similarities between Parsis and Punjabis anywhere? Well, they love to eat and they like to have fun mm. and they are a little nice and noisy in a happy mm. way and uh, they are large hearted, they are good hosts, they like to feed. They do. Yeah. And you've mentioned that you know you have to have a want, a desire in life. What are your wants now at 64? She's reminding me of my age anyway. Very young 64. Well, okay, thank you. Uh, I, 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 I think um, this want is complete. Now I really would like to uh, produce more and more films, uh, create a generation of writers and directors that we can say we made some good cinema, whether it's commercial. I am very, very happy with commercial cinema also. Mm -hmm. Mm. Are your sons also going to be part of it? Kayo, Kayo is already almost putting finishing touches on his film, Sarzami. Okay. Yeah. Which is uh, patriotic? Uh, oh, it sounds patriotic, doesn't it? It sounds patriotic, yeah. yes. And my <laughs> son produced, uh, my older son Danish produced, uh, was a producer on uh, Meta Boys. You know, you've come from a non-filmy background and yes. uh, there has been no support as such. And you've just made it on your own. And these days there's so much talk of nepotism, ye is flani family se, us se hai. No. Did you ever feel the need? I have no. to be part of some group, I have to please someone, no. I have to, uh, you know. Anybody thinks that they are not part of some, then they, they, they should leave the race right away. No one's going to stop you to achieve your goals. Hmm. And um, I find that as an excuse for people who are afraid to make it on their own. It's, it's as difficult for them as it is would be for someone from a filmy family. Trust me, they have a foot in the door, but they also have to... Prove themselves. Yeah, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And not only, not only that, they have to prove themselves matched with, with their forefathers and fathers. <laughs> oh, uske jaisa nahi tha, huh? It's tough. It's tough. I hear you sing very well. Yeah, I sing and not bad. And strum the guitar. Yeah, I'm not bad. I, I'm not bad. I, I've been told. So will you, will you be doing any playback singing or some kind of impromptu singing in your um, films? Yeah, why not? Right here? No, not right here. Not no, up to it? No, I'm a little tired and a little yes. unwell. Yeah. You grew up, if I may uh, ask, about dyslexia and dyscalculia. So dyscalculia suffer dyscalculia. even today, badly. Okay. And a little stammer also. Huge stammer and mm. squeaky voice and, and the, the tongue sticking out. So that's Viru Sastrabuddhi. Well, that was Viru Sastrabuddhi. So how does, as an actor, as a public person, how, how have you been able to maintain that regimen and that personality and persona so that all these flaws are, you know, you have managed to manage these flaws? Some people live with it and they're fine. Mike Tyson, the strongest man, the biggest, still has a big list. It doesn't bother him so much. It bothered me. But I think the fear of failure has to be rubbished. You shouldn't fear failure. Mm. Failure is good. Failure is good. It immediately you put back, okay, this, this idea, let's correct it and move on. So I think I, I rubbish the fear of failure. What's going to happen? What's the worst that can happen if you fail at something? I, and, and my ego says it's perfectly okay. It's good. It's not a bad thing. Finally, how important is the writer today in the ecosystem of the entire industry? The most important. Because well, I've got two sides to that story. Hmm. Uh, one, Billy Wilder said, if you don't have a good script, how does a director direct? Out of a telephone directory? <laughs> Number one. Hmm. 
So I think the writer is the most important person because he sets the sets the template and every single detail. It's the tone of the film also. No, every single detail, from your clothes to your to the production design, everything. You get all your cues from the writing. You can't just. But I think we need as writers to to up the game, to earn that respect. You can't say I'm a writer. The mirror has two sides. No. You have to also you prove. You have to work towards. Hmm. Sharpening your craft, learning, not be afraid of learning because a lot of writers don't are afraid of saying, okay, I don't want to get into this, uh, this science of it because I might get caught up. So I think that writers will get their due. Um, we need some writers to be like Salim Javed, the star writers. Salim Javed's this movie, that used to be the title. That was an era of limited, uh, the, the, but the... the they were, Scope, they were very less people and you know no they, no 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 they were known more but now we have like a huge base of writers and huge uh, yeah, the whole but, but uh, ott space and so yeah that. which is great because people are getting work and that's mm. great and that's that's uh, but at the end of the day you have to deliver to be asking for more money and respect all negotiations and proof first you got to deliver mm. sharpen your game and for that, they need to join your classes also. No, I didn't say that. I said that. Okay. Spiral bound. No. We know. should talk about that. We should, yeah. Spiral bound is, is uh, it's, it was born in uh, the pandemic when a whole bunch of people did not know what they're going to do the next morning. So when we started it, the word spread and everybody would turn up every morning. They'd, some of them would give them a reason to even dread, to bathe and sit and get out of the bed. Because they were wondering where the next meal was coming from. So, instead of moping, one must sharpen one's skills. And it has impacted a lot of people, I'm proud to say. And was born out of Alex's teachings. And all that Alex taught me, I try and convert it into the language that we understand over here. And I think it did, it did great. It's still low, 685 sessions. Yes. So, and I won't stop because I see the value of it for others and even for me. Your mind is a sponge still? Of course. Mm -hmm. Who's impacted your life the most and who has and you managed to touch? From in what, in what context? As in who you are, the maximum impact that someone has made, you know, sometimes even one line like that lady said, hey, Mamu, Picture bahut paisa oh, it impacted me, it impacted. <laughs> and but it gave you hope, that glimmer yeah. of hope that yes, my friends will I, I, I learn, I learn every day from, from somebody or the other. Hmm. I, mean, I mean, your sister came in right now. Just see the, the sweetness with which she was exuding warmth and love and affection. And she, she's a, she, was, she was so transparent. Now for me, it's, it's, a, it's a body language and a character that I can... Capture and then yeah. translate to screen. Yeah, someone nice. She's so what a nice person. But still, she was willing to be girlish. She had such great personality. <laughs> she walks into she walks into the room and you say, but then she was willing to be like a little child, and I find that very disarming. And it's a very beautiful thing that people are, don't have to say, oh, I'm oh, can I have to be behave in a particular way. She didn't care. I like that also. So relaxed and Rel casual. Yeah, but that to each his own. Yeah. To each his own. But she was very, so charming. It's so beautiful that people don't have their, uh, their, their egos. And she was so loving and so warm and she behaved so sweetly and there was a smile on her face. She was blushing. It was so nice. So I learned from something or the other every single day. I learned from conversations with, with uh, industrial captains, cricketers, people who drive me around the place. Sometimes words of wisdom come from people who are going through pain. Uh, I've learned from books. I've learned a lot from Alex. He's inspired me a lot. My mother, my wife. And sometimes she acts as a conscience. Why did he have to say that in the in interview? Literally when the other two young, very sweet ladies were doing the interview, I said, please don't put that in a in a nice way, so saying, yeah, that's something Zenobia would make me say. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying. So these, yes. this becomes the, the words and teachings of others have to become your conscience. True. And I feel that you can pick up from anyone. I learned from my my sons. I learned from my sons. You know, Dad, there was no need. Don't just just if you don't want to go, you don't have to say no. Give me some. I'm not saying. These are these are just words of wisdom that can come from anywhere. And great men. Great man, always go to other the basic go to. I'm not good with quotations, but sometimes even some quotations stick in your head. Um, I I learn from. You learn and pass it on, and I think you've impacted many lives too. Well, again, I didn't say that. Through spiral bound, I yeah. was hearing the oh, stories. Yeah, let's hope. And boxing federation, you were uh, you want you took the photographs and you yeah. know for the World Cup. No sports movie you want to write about? Some I like a sports movie. Somebody asked me what kind of you asked me, was it the previous person? Maybe the previous person. What other what kind of movie? I said maybe a sports movie. Hmm. Because you have that yeah, sports journalist yeah, and sports yeah. photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that it's somewhere in you to create sure, that kind sure, of sure, sure, sure. And of course now you can write a lot on yourself. Memoirs. We will do that too. Huh? Yeah. Bumman here. Sure. Right? Sure. And are you still, do you still hold on to the shop, wafer shop? Or no, you make wafers no, at home? It's, it's got, no. But if there is an agriculture forum and they ask for potato expert, you'll be there? 100%. All regions potatoes. All regions potatoes. All right. Be the best. <laughs> on that note, we'll take your leave, Bamanji. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Most welcome. And I wish you all the best and for Most your Most kind of. Thank you so much. Till then, keep, keep watching Just Talking. Thank like you. and subscribe. Lovely. Bye.